What's going on, everybody? Uh, I'm here changing this Meritor um, Pivot Bushing Kit here. Here's the part number for it. There you go. I'm using the Meritor Extractor, which is an aftermarket that I bought off of eBay from this company here. There's the part number there. From Automan, great tool. And as you can see, these are the bushings I'm trying to take out. I already took the uh, the bolt out. I'm pretty sure if anybody's watching this, they kind of know how to get to this point. Similar to the Hendrix suspension, but this is the Meritor. There's one I've already done. I'm just doing this video because I see tons of videos for the Hendrix and suspensions, but not a single one for this version Meritor suspension, which uses these bushings here which is part number there not all of them are the same so just make sure you have the right part number like I said this is the extractor the the uh, the um, install tool the removal tool and install tool you will need this comes in this box you have this plate this other plate the bolt for it and the compression tube this is very important show you how to use it in a minute i already did this one like i said and this is what came out this is the old one that i just replaced i did the first one because this is the first time i've ever done it and it's actually pretty easy it's not as difficult so i'll show you how to take this one out let me see if i can get this so it's really important that when you do this that you use this end of the here this end of the um removal tool it looks the same but it has that lip on this side see the lip no lip lip no lip the lip has to be pushed up against here it pretty much sits on that that flange there Make sure it sits nice and snug on there. Now, let me put the phone down for a second here so I could set it up. All right, so here I needed both hands. I had to put the phone down for a second, but so you can kind of get an idea of how it goes set up. So you have the, the, the pressure bolt here. You have a washer, bearing, washer, then your pr pressure plate your compression plate make sure that like i said flange is on this side no flange on this side so your pressure plate fits there when it's on there compressed so now now that you have that you push it in, flip all the way in see that see how it sits there then you take the other plate here that has a thread thread it on there sorry this is very hard to do with one hand but very easy when you have them both available to use thread it on there make sure that on that thread you have here for the removal tool that thread there you have plenty of grease it comes with this comes in the box as well this is the grease for that thread make sure you put this on there so you can use this tool many 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 times because it is not cheap it runs about six hundred and fifteen dollars on ebay i believe it's through find it parts if you just look up that part number it'll come up it is an aftermarket but it works amazing so see there so I had to kind of backtrack there a little bit. I got a little ahead of myself. You see this burrs here, if you have a little bit of damage, you want to kind of clean it off and make it smooth. That way you do not damage your tool. I made the mistake on that first one there and I kind of dinged my brand new tool a little bit, but it's okay, nothing bad happened to it, but we don't want to mess up our tools on the first day. We want to try to get them to last us a couple of times so yeah i'm gonna clean this up right now with my uh die grinder here with just a um a uh sanding head there 
and I'll get right back to you because I need both hands for this. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Another thing I forgot to mention, this each bushing does come with this set of uh, instructions, how to use the tool, how it should be set up, what it works for. Sorry, let me clean my camera. Okay, there we go, much better, somewhat. So, I don't know if you can see those part numbers there. This is what it'll work for. Now that you can see, I just cleaned up those burrs there so I don't mess up my tool. And this should come up pretty smooth. What you wanna do before you start extracting this, you wanna make sure that this is nice and lubed with something, whether it's, whether it's uh, soap and water, as it says here on the instructions, or what I'm gonna use is, since I have extra from the other bushing, some of this stuff. It slides real nice. So, let me set it back up and I'll get back to you. All right, so here we go. We're ready to go to just start torquing this down. It's all put on there, as you can see there. Remember, put lube inside of there. I already did that. Take your ratchet. I use a ratchet, not an impact. You can use an impact if you want. I don't because it messes up the thread and that bearing. So, and it's not hard to just torque it down. So you just go ahead and tighten it. And as you can see there, it just starts pushing out or pulling, whichever you wanna call it. Takes it a minute. You just keep doing this until it pops completely out. It'll pop inside of this tube here. And then that's completely out. We'll get back to you once it's out. All right, so all I did was keep torquing it. It's hard to do with one hand, but check it out. Completely pulled it out already. Just jiggle this back way out. She's out. No more bushing. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna clean all this crap off with uh, this guy right here. Again, make it nice and smooth so that the new one, that one, doesn't get damaged as it slides in and we can get it all nice and smooth. Check it out, that's the tool once again. Are you with them that? Back off the screw here. Get this off all the way again. This is why I don't use an impact because in my past experiences, this thread gets messed up when you use an impact. You can. I wouldn't do it. Take that bad boy out. Take your compression out. And like I said, it kind of seems silly because this is also the one that compresses it and it pulls it out the same way. But this is how you're supposed to use it and it's really not that hard. There's the old bushing. Pretty messed up, but not as bad as that one, but still, you wanna replace them both. See, look at that, trashed. All right. We'll get back to you right now. We're gonna clean this thing off. We'll show you how to put this on and put it all together. We'll be right back. All right, so now we're putting the new bushing in. This is all nice and clean. Make sure that the side that the bushing is gonna be compressed in through, that there's no burrs, that it's nice and smooth all the way around because I did a Hendrickson one on my other trailer and I messed up because I left a little burr and it ripped it as it was pushing it in and it makes it a lot more difficult for you to put it in. So if you have a tool like this one here or something similar, make sure that this is nice and smooth all the way around so that when it pushes in, it goes nice and smooth. Now, to set up the tool to put it, to install it, you're only gonna need this side. Make sure you put it on this here. This flange here fits inside there, see that? Okay, now we take our compression tube. Now the important thing about this one is this line is important. This line here has to line up with this line on your new bushing, which this line then matches up with the line that's marked here somewhere on your suspension. 
you should be able to see it right there on this one that's the line there pretty probably hard to see but that's it right there so right now we don't really have to worry about it you can just slide it on what you want to do though this is the loop that comes with these bushings you don't want to be shy with this you want to make sure you get your compression tool nice and looped up with it so that your bushing slides right in like i said don't be shy with this just the the more you use the smoother it'll be make sure you get your bushing on there get your bushing nice and lathered up too without dirt or oh, like that And then that too, make sure that when you pull out your old bushing with this tool, you wipe off everything because it comes up with a bunch of that like uh, old rubber and stuff. It'll make your life miserable if you leave it on there and try to install the new one. So that nice and lathered up. Make sure your mark is facing the outside so you can match it up with the tool. Right there. So you can see it better slide that in by hand again make sure this line matches up with this line push it in as far as you can go with your hand then go ahead and put it into the installation and then thread on your compression your other compression plate which I don't know where I put it must all And thread that on don't worry about getting the line there just yet just snug it up to where it's nice and snug and in position now it's still a little loose and snug but you can still move it without struggling so much so like i said that line i showed you earlier needs to match up with the line on the side there of your suspension we're gonna do that right now and we'll be back all right so check it out See the line on the bushing, lines up with the line on our tool, then lines up with the line on our suspension, okay? That's important. Don't exactly know what it's for, but that's what the instructions say. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? So now you're ready to go. Your tool's on there, bushing's on there. Again, make sure that the compression flange is on the right side here, so you should have the thin side here and the thick side here with the cutout here in the tool. And then all you have to do is torque this bad boy and you'll see it compress in. So you can see there. It's making a little pressure there. And if you look at the ratchet I'm using, I'm really not really even having a hard time with it. It's real nice and soft, and as you can see, it's, it's pushing it right in where it needs to go. And you just keep torquing it down, keep torquing it down until it completely stops and it gets hard. Where you can't do it no more don't try to hang off of it once it stops it stops it's done it's a little tiring but it's a long thread but it'll get there Gotta make sure too, it says it in the instructions, not to use any kind of oils because it will damage the life of the bushing. So if you bought the murder ones that already comes in the kit, use their stuff. If you bought aftermarket ones, I'm not sure because these are not aftermarket. Only the compression tool is. Okay, almost there. Now 
Now this is the part where it starts getting a little more tight. Because more than half of the... Uh, starts getting a little tight. Because I mean, you almost like about three quarters of the way in with it already. And I've done a Hendrickson suspension. The reason I'm doing this video because I couldn't find a single one for this Virgin Meritor. Also, what I want to mention this tool is not the same as the Mer uh, the Hendrickson. It will not work. This is different and the compression, uh, the, uh, the two push plates are different and the thread is different. The uh, Hendrickson is much bigger. So it will not work on your Meritor. And there it stopped. If you look here, through the holes of the, you can see the bushings all the way maxed out onto the tool. And it's all the way in. So this bad boy, you could just tap it. Comes right out. Still have part of the tool still in there. Give it a good back and forth a couple of times. Loosen it up. And then since this is rubber, it doesn't say to do this, or at least I'm not sure I didn't see it anywhere, but I'm doing it because it's rubber and it tends to sit different sometimes. So just give it another one and make sure it sits all the way in where it's supposed to. Okay, there it is all the way. Back it back off, and your bushing is in. Take this bad boy off. Okay, this off, and there it is. Your bushing is installed. nice and compressed doesn't have any kind of uh, damage to it nice and smooth everything's good and for some reason can't it always moves about a quarter saw how I put it right where it belongs it always moves a quarter same thing with this one but there you go if that helps anybody out there that's why I make this video if you need anything just let me know on the comments you have a good one. Bye.